Welcome back. I'm Calvin Statue Fanatic here with another episode of Collected on a Budget. And this is a piece that I am seriously excited to unbox and take a look at. And uh, I pre-ordered this some time ago from Big Bad Toy Store. I think I saw it at uh, one of the cons or fairs or something like that uh, earlier this year and thought it was pretty cool. And I ended up pre-ordering this, this guy. And now that I have it in, in the house and I'm looking at the actual packaging and everything and boy if this statue looks anything like this on uh, what it looks like on the box this is going to be an amazing piece so we're going to get it unboxed but before we do that let's take a look at the box and so it's got some beautiful pictures uh of the statue on the box here you have cable here on the box and uh all around you've got pictures of cable and what's really unique about this also on the bottom part here the bottom left of this box you have th two other statues that i pre-ordered that goes with this set this diorama i actually got a chance to see all of them at san diego comic con this year and so there is deadpool domino and cable here and the base forms sort of a diorama to put all three of them together and i cannot wait to get all of them so that i can put them together and now, as far as the sculpting is, the, who sculpted this, uh, the amazing Gene St. Jean sculpted this uh, figure. I didn't know much about him until I started doing this segment collected on a budget, and I found out that Gene St. Jean actually sculpted a lot of the figures that I reviewed and that I like, namely Moon Knight, which is an amazing figure that I reviewed a couple of months, a few months ago. So check that out if you get a chance. But let me tell you that he's an incredible sculptor. Another really cool thing about this figure is that it is hand sculpted by Gene St. Jean. I am a big fan of digital sculpts, but even a bigger fan of the uh, hand sculpting art. So I'm really happy that this is a hand sculpted piece and I'm just really giddy and excited. Now, of course, this is a statue of uh, Nathan Summers, uh, AKA Cable. And a little bit about Nathan Summers is that he was infected as an infant with this bio organic techno type virus and uh, there was no cure for it. So he ended up somehow traveling 2000 years into the future and learning to use his telekinetic abilities to control the virus. He ended up following a clone back to the current day where the virus did end up taking over part of his body and turning it into this biomechanical type part like cyborg type uh, uh, part of his left side of his body which allowed him to like interface with machines and have this unbelievable over-the-top strength that he has he also had multiple encounters with the mercenary Deadpool and they at one point were arch enemies but eventually ended up having a mutual respect for each other and ended up teaming up from time to time which is pretty awesome his first appearance was in 1986 in Uncanny X-Men 201, that was his appearance as Nathan Summers. And his appearance as Cable happened in New Mutants number 87 in 1990. Now that we've gone over a little bit about who Nathan Summers and Cable is, let's get this thing unboxed. Now, here you have him. Here is Nathan Summers Cable out of the box. And let me tell you guys, um, I'm just, I'm really excited. This is, it, it lives up to what I was expecting it to live up to just at first glance. And we're gonna go over the sculpt and the paint application. In the box, he came as one piece. There's no, um, it, it, you don't have to assemble anything. And then it also came with this uh, certificate of authenticity, which shows that this is 1532 of uh, 3000 of these pieces. So let's get into the actual figure and I'm like smiling here because at first glance, it, it just looks amazing. I'm just going to spin this around a little bit so you can see this and I'll get into the review here in a minute. But I just want you to take a look at this and um, this is in 4K so you should be able to see it pretty well and it's lit pretty well. So you should be able to see some of the detail that I'm going to talk about in this review and I will try to contain my excitement. Yes, yes, yes. So, wow, this definitely lives up to what I was expecting when I ordered this guy. The sculpt, the detail, the paint application at first glance looking at this looks absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing. Now, we'll talk a little bit about the sculpt and then we'll talk about the paint application. And like I said, there's two other pieces that go to this and the base fits together into one piece. So you'll have all three of them, which is Domino and Deadpool and Cable. 
and I can't wait to get those. I have those on pre-order too. They should be coming out this year as well. Now, just starting with the sculpt of this guy, starting with the head sculpt, his hair sculpted really well. Now, what's really cool, man, when you look at the detail in his face, it's just phenomenal. Uh, a smaller scale uh, figure, this was hand sculpted, like I've said, by the amazing Gene St. Jean, and he did an amazing job with this hand sculpt. Um, the, the facial features, you can see the wrinkles in his face, you can see the scars on his face, they all look really good. And the facial part of it, actually the, um, the shading on the face looks really cool, and we'll talk about the paint in a minute, but it just looks great. The wrinkles under his eyes, he just looks like he's been through some things, and, and you can see um, the experience in his face. Uh, really cool looking piece. And then when you look at his body and the armor that he's wearing, the same thing. Lots of sculpting in detail. He has a ton of arsenal uh, affixed to his body from weapons to ammunition. He's carrying a knife. He has a weapon on his back. He has this huge ass gun right here. All of it with tons of detail. Uh, as you can see, the pictures that I'm showing here, you can see just tons of detail. The mechanisms, uh, for example, on the weapon that he has on his shoulder, there's just tons of uh, mechanisms and you can see all the detail in all of that. Um, as you look around the weapon, it looks really fantastic. And you look at his left side, the cybergenic side of his body, you can uh, see where all of the sculpt and the detail here. Even you can see the wiring and everything that's in the inside of his body there, which looks really fantastic. Uh, looks great. The musculature sculpting on it for him, from his biceps to even down to his abs, all of that looks really great. And then on his arm, his right, um, right arm, you can see the veins that are sculpted, looks great. The same thing with the things that the glove that he's wearing, lots of sculpt and detail in that, all the way down to the base. Now, I don't know what he's standing on, and I probably should know what this, this is that he's standing on, but again, it's just sculpted really well. And then the same thing with the base with the rock that he's standing on here. Lots of sculpting and detail in that as well. As I look at the back side of him here, along the back, now his outfit. The pants that he's wearing, you can see where Jean St. Jean sculpted all the wrinkles and things like that that are in his outfit, giving it this realistic look like it's really material or he's wearing something and it's, you can see where it's worn, battered, tattered, that type of thing. Looks great. Um, now, talking about the paint application, now this is where this piece could have gone really bad because there's just so much going on when it comes to the different tones of paint that you see here. But again, did, they did a fantastic job with that. Um, the shading that's in his hair looks fantastic. The shading on his face looks really well with the scars and the wrinkles and things like that in his face to give it depth and dimension. That looks well. As, that looks really good as well. The same thing with his armor. Uh, the gray part of his armor, the dark parts, the, the, the darker parts versus the lighter parts. The shading looks really well. Now, it really shines uh, on the cybergenic part of his body, his arm. That part, uh, so much shading and stuff here makes it look really good. Now, what's cool about it is that when you look at like the gold bands that are here from the suspenders or the, the pouches that are sculpted, when you look at the line work, the paint, it looks really well. And there's so many different types of detail. Like on the back of his leg, for example, they have this chain mail, uh, uh, chain type link stuff here that's painted well. But when you look at the blue pants that he's wearing, it, they did a great job with the line work. It, 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 there may be places where you can see some that spill over, but the way that the statue is painted, it does you can't tell whether it was intentional or not intentional uh, because it's done so well. The gun on the back of his uh, holster here, like there's this leather strap that holds this weapon in the holster. But when I look at the leather strap, it's painted really well, but none of that paint actually uh, is on the weapon itself. So it looks really cool. And the same thing with these, uh, the ammo that's on his shoulder. Uh, I see the silver tip of the bullet, and then I see the gold part, and then I see the leather straps that are holding the bullets in uh, from the, for the cannon or whatever that gun is that he's, he has. And all three tones there, uh, the line work is done really well. Uh, the same thing with the X-Man logo, they're done well. There is a little bit of overspill with the X-Man logo here. I can see it on the one on his uh, buckle but not anything that stands out or you know that's glaring or anything like that it looks really good still even with that and i don't know it may be intentional i just see it there with the straps the the ammo pouches that are on his thigh again looks really amazing this 
lived up to the hype that I was hoping it would live up to. One six scale figure and holy hats guys, That this is $134 for something of this quality. I think it is well worth it. This is why I do collect it on a budget because there are tons of large scale figures out there that cost tons of money, but yet I have figures that are one quarter scale that do not come close to the type of sculpt and detail that this one six figure has. So for those of you that don't want to move into a new home because the figures are too big to store or you don't want to break the bank and you love these characters, display really well, look beautiful. This is a fantastic way to collect things that you love. That concludes my <laughs> gushing review of Nathan Summers, aka Cable. And if you want to stay on top of the latest in the world of collecting, please head over to mcecentral.com. That's Marvel's Collectible and Entertainments, where you can see some more cool unboxings and things like that. And also, you can find more of my videos collecting on a budget over at MCE as well. I've just posted a video over there um, reviewing a Spider-Man figure that I want you guys to go check out and tell me what you think. But until next time, my friends, peace.